So this is one of the last bits on the topic coordinate geometry. It's about dividing lines into a ratio. So say example, you have your point A, your point B here, and you have a line in between them. Say if you want to divide that line up into a ratio H to K. So that may sound like a weird thing to say, but it, it, they can mean anything. So if you want um, this bit to be bigger, so you want H to be bigger, then you can make H bigger than K. Or if you want K to be bigger, you can make K bigger than H. And this formula here basically will give a point on the line that will split it up into a given ratio. So the best way to do this is probably with an example. So I will scroll down and I'll write an example. So here we have our example here. So find the point P that divides the line AB into the ratio three to one, okay? So we have our point here, A is minus five and eight. Our point B is three and minus eight. And the ratio they want is three to one. So one thing actually I probably should have written up here uh, this formula here will divide it up into the ratio h to k. So whichever one, uh, whichever number is in front, that's h. Whichever number is on the right, then that's k. Okay. So that's what we have here. We have h and our k. And then I'm going to write our x1, our y1, our x2, and our y2. So I'll do this first, and then we're going to draw it out, and you'll see exactly what it means when it's drawn out. I think it's probably easier. Again, I'm going to call it the point C. You can call it whichever one you want, really. Um, so h x2, so that's going to be 3 by x2, which is also 3, plus k, which is 1, by x1, which is minus 5, divided by h plus k, which is 3 plus 1. Okay, and now the next one is going to be h by y2, so that's going to be 3 by y2, which is minus 8, and that's going to be plus 1, which is k, multiplied by y1. And y1 is 8. And again, that's all divided by 3 plus 1. Scroll down a little bit more. That means c is equal to, so we're going to have 9 minus 5 divided by 4. And we're going to have minus 24 plus 8 divided by 4. C is equal to 4 over 4, and this is going to be minus 16 over 4. So this implies that 6 is going to be 1 minus 4. So I will go down here, and we're going to have C is equal to 1 minus 4. And I'll just write these two green ones as well. A is minus 5 and 8, and B is 3 and minus 8. So give me one second and I'll draw this all out in a graph and you can see what exactly we just did. So there I quickly scribbled out a graph. So we have our x or y axis, we have our point A here, which is minus five, eight. Our point B here down at the bottom, which is three and minus eight. And our point C, which is one and minus four. So if we wanna draw a line between A and B, like this. Okay, so what do we say? We said we were dividing our line up into the ratio three to one. So if you want to measure that, uh, you'll find out exactly what it is. But again, this is all just a sketch. But I'd say it'll be about, that will be about three times longer than that. And that's all what we did. We split that line up into the ratio of three to one. So that's what that uh, formula is, is for. It's about finding that point there. So one minus four. So which point along this line will split it up into exactly that ratio. Um, so that's what that's all about. Um, there's not too much they can ask about it, so uh, that should cover you. There's one or two other ways they could ask the question, but it's all more or less the same thing. So hopefully that made sense, um, and we'll see you next time we're going to talk about the centres of a triangle, which is one they seem to quite like asking. So we'll, we'll do kind of a long video on that. So we'll see you next time, and hope you enjoyed it.